Let's welcome in one of the top uncommitted defensive linemen in the country from Mainland High School. Four-star defensive lineman LJ McCray joins the inside scoop. LJ, big senior year ahead. You guys are making a run at a state title this year. What are you enjoying most so far about your senior season? Oh, I mean, I feel like we have a really good group of guys. Like, everybody's super close. I mean, last year we were super young, so now to be seniors, it's a good feeling. All right, you got Georgia, Auburn, Florida, Florida State, and Miami. Those are the final five schools for you, right? Is this the final group? Yes, sir. What is it about these schools that made it to your final group? I mean, all of these schools have been, like, consistently in – doing a great job recruiting me throughout this whole long process, especially the the schools that offer me pretty early. So, I mean, I have great relationships with all the coaching staffs and, and all the program. I don't feel like I have a bad decision in my top five, honestly. Is there anyone else that could possibly sneak into this group before you make a decision? I, I don't think so. Honestly. <laughs> all, right. all right. LJ, which head coach throughout this process have you developed the best relationship with? Ooh. Honestly, I I talked to all of the head coaches like pretty evenly, almost the same amount. I mean, I talked to Coach Billy Napier a lot, Coach Crystal Ball a lot. They probably are the two that I talked to the most, the most, but I talked to often all of them often. All right. Now you took your four official visits during the summer. You get more, but you did take four official visits during the summer. What stood out to you about some of those trips? Um, just the relations. I mean, everywhere that I took the OV, I've been there before. I went there unofficially. So it was just getting up there a second time and seeing if the energy was the same as the first time I met them and just, just getting to hang around the coaches and players. Yeah, you took Florida first, then you went to Miami. What? Tell me a little bit about those two in-state visits. Uh, I mean, I, I of course, Florida, I've been there a plethora of times. But Miami, I, I, that was my second time going there. I, I really enjoyed it, honestly. I mean, just – getting to hang out with the players. The first time I went there, it was kind of just the coaches and the coaching staff, but I, I really enjoyed myself. All right. Now, a lot of guys are coming off the board already. Why did you decide that you wanted to take your recruitment into the season? Um, Really, it just, the decision really didn't hit me yet, but honestly, I'm glad, I'm kind of glad that I did wait this long to see kind of how the teams pan out this season and just how the coaches are really developing. I mean, Almost every school in my top five has a lot of young guys, so get to watch those young guys on TV and kind of see how those guys are really developing and seeing what the coaches are telling you is really real. All right. And then the second half of June, you went out of state. You went to Auburn and you went to Georgia. What was it about those two trips that stood out? I mean, I have a great relationship with Coach Garrett at Auburn and, and uh, Keldrick, he's a D-lineman at Auburn right now. Freshman is doing pretty good, so – I mean, I just have great relationships with Auburn. It's, it's, it's really like a family atmosphere in Auburn. And Georgia, I mean, there's back to back national champions. There's not much to not like about Georgia, especially with Coach Scott has going on right there with the defense alignment. I mean, who, who kind of doesn't want to be coached by the best right now? Yeah. With your decision going into the fall, into the month of October, do you wish that you would have saved any of those official visits for the fall so you could have gone for games? Or are you glad that you did it during the summer? Uh, honestly, I'm kind of glad I did it in the summer. I mean, I get to focus just on my team and really just try to win this season out before, I, you know, I'm not really too pressured to go on OVs here and focus on this now. It kind of helped me lock in more on my own season. Why did you schedule Florida State for October? Um, They wanted the last one, and I had something to do in the summer, so I couldn't really fit off five in there. All right. How big does location play into your decision? Obviously, the, the three schools from Florida, Florida, Florida State, and Miami are all involved, but also Auburn and Georgia. So what does location mean to you? I mean, none of my schools, any school in my top five are really too far. I mean, Auburn is just an hour away from Atlanta. The flight to Atlanta is 45 minutes. So, I mean, so is Georgia as well. But, I mean, it, nothing is really too far. I mean, I put kind of had it that way. I don't want to go too, too far, and I'm really – not far away from home at two out-of-state schools. So, I mean, this is really isn't the biggest issue, but it's really just the best opportunity for me. All right. College football is back. It started this weekend. When you're sitting at home on Saturday watching football, what do you kind of look for during these games? I mean, now being a recruiter is kind of a little bit different. I mean, I always enjoy watching 
college football. I mean, I watched every Saturday, but it's really just to see the D line and now I kind of watch it a little bit different, being like I could really be in their shoes next year. But it's it's just fun to watch. I mean, who doesn't like watching college football on Saturdays? I agree. Who doesn't watch college football on Saturday? I know I sure do. And everybody that's watching this also does. So as a college football fan, you had to have had an eye on that Colorado TCU game. What did you think of Coach Prime's debut at Colorado? Oh, I enjoyed it. I mean, that was the first game I woke up around 10, 11, turned on the game as soon as I kind of got up. So it was just, I love the energy. The guys, I, they, they went out there and performed. And there's not too much to say. I guess they, they're coming for real. All right, now tell me, when do you have your decision date set? Have you picked a day that you're going to announce? Uh, I don't have a date finalized, but I know it's sometime in October, later October after my birthday sometime, but it, that, that's where it is right now. All right, do you know in your head where you're going, or are you truly still undecided in all of this? Honestly, uh, every day is is a different school. I mean, I have no, like when I genuinely say I don't have a bad school in my top five, I really love all of my schools and my top five. I have great relationships with everybody. So then what do you need to see? I mean, you've taken the visits and now the season's going on. Is the season really important to you or are the relationships what matters? I mean, again, I have great relationships. I mean, it's, it's, I, of course, the competitiveness in me, I want to be on the winning team. But honestly, it really comes down to the development. But I've been praying on it, so hopefully this is hitting me. Yeah. So what is the most important factor for you when it comes to making this big decision? Um, what, whatever feels right. I mean, if, I, if I'm consistently waking up and saying this, this is where I want to go and God's telling me that's the right decision, that's where I'm going to go. All right. Your teammate, four-star safety, Zay Mincy, he is also highly coveted and considering a few of the same teams that you are, do you guys ever talk recruiting together or even consider playing on the same team at the next level? I mean, of course, we we know it'll be a, a super cool and especially a big thing for for our school, man, and Daytona as well. But I mean, we we just talk about it. And it's like if it if it happens, it happens. But we want to find the best place for us, honestly. All right, LJ McRae, Mainland High School, off to a two and zero start, going to make another run at a state title this year. LJ McRae, appreciate your time. Thank you for dropping by the Inside Scoop. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for me and remember to check out all the videos on the On3 YouTube page.